This just did. Extreme Rules is going to fuck harder than any man Kevin's ever been with. How many of them do you know? Four. You know what four of them? Four. All right, well, we're going to call our sources and find out if that's real. Hi, welcome to uh, On a Forklift, and this is your Extreme Rules predictions. 2022, in case you know you're watching this in 2024 when one of us are dead. Probably me. Probably him. Murder. It is. Probably his wife got away with it. Yep, camera lady. Um, but it's probably not a good thing that you just put that on film. The least suspect. schematics. Anyways, uh, we are here to talk about Extreme Rules 2022. We are filming this on Tuesday, October 4th. The pay-per-view is on October 8th. So if they announce any other matches after this on SmackDown, get fucked. Yep. Not not our problem. Not our problem. That's That's our future people's problems, not our problems today. But six really good matches listed for this pay per view, Ethan. All on the uh, all on the main card. Nothing nothing announced for any kind of pre show. Yeah, we'll probably get something like a Johnny Gargano on the pre show. Like mm -hmm. maybe Johnny Gargano lost in theory. That's one thing I can see being added to it. Johnny Gargano lost, or Johnny Gargano and uh, Kevin Owens were lost in theory, and Chad Gable. That'd be that'd be a that'd different. fuck. Yeah, they're pretty a good fun. opening match. But the cool thing about this Extreme Rules pay-per-view is that every single match on this card has a stipulation. I can't remember the last time that that has fucking happened in Extreme Rules. So Triple H, congratulations. You're really knocking it out of the fucking park right now. I would do the water thing, but I don't want to clean up my own house. I'll kill you. But let's explain uh, how we do things. Uh, each prediction is worth a point. We each get something called a forklift certified pick of the night. That is the person we believe... What? What am I doing? <laughs> I, your wife said don't set anything on the table. I'm trying not to set anything on the table. Yeah, Jesus. He's listening. Oh, my God. Fuck me. You threw off my group. Forklift certified pick. Are you seething yet? He, I just watched him turn a different shade of red. Anyway, so we've changed it. It's no longer the double or nothing. It is now the forklift certified pick of the week. Same rules and same regulations apply. If you use this and you no win, purchase necessary. you get double points. But if you lose, you also lose double points. Ooh, spooky. It takes every ounce of energy I have. Hey, okay, Ethan Housen. Not to hit you. I thought I wore my Dana Housen shirt <laughs> for a minute. Every single day that we hang Ooh, out. Yes, very nice, very nice. So, let's start off with... Dude, you see my hand move and you start to flinch now. No, no, I flinched because the thing rolled up. What's our first match of the night? First match we're going to be kicking off with is the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium in a good old-fashioned Donnie Broke match. I, for one, think this is going to be match of the night. I don't know who any of these people are. You know, you know who Gunther, Gunther's squad and Sheamus' squad. You know Pete Dunn. I didn't realize they had stupid names. Okay. We might have to find a new camera. <laughs> We're going to need a tripod. It's a big old Trevor. I, uh, I think Imperium wins this one. I think the... Oh, no, you know what? No, no. I think Seamus and crew are going to win this. And the only reason I say that is... We're... But we really don't know. There's I, two other people on that team to get pinned who aren't named Gunther. No, I know, but Sheamus would be the benefactor of the win. However, there is an Intercontinental title match the night before on Friday. So, with that said, I, I'm i still going to have to go with Sheamus, his crew. I think his crew is going to win. The Brawling Brutes, I'm going to go with the Brawling Brutes winning. I think I'm going to go with Imperium because I don't think Gunther should lose ever. Not for 272 years. I thought you were going matches. You went years. Okay. <clears throat> Samantha, who do you have? Uh, I'm going to go with Seamus. Okay. So we have you two with the Brawling Brutes and me with Imperium. All right. And, and this just in, um, Russ has went with the Revolution. I'm bringing the Revolution. The next match listed is Edge versus Finn Balor in an I Quit match. Uh, I think Finn Balor has to win this. I think I, so, too. I agree. I think with the, all the rumors that Finn Balor is getting this massive push now that Triple H is in charge, I feel Finally. This, is, this is where Edge is going to get hurt, handed his first loss since Seth Rollins. Yep. Yeah. Three it's, years too late. Mm -hmm. This match is, you know, Judgment Day is going to get involved. We're going to see Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles. Hopefully this is the end to Judgment Day versus what I'm going to call 
deserve better squad. The legends, I guess, if yeah. you wanted to go down that road. I mean, we're all winners. Rhea Ripley's going to be on our television. I probably. did see one interesting thing of having Beth versus Rhea because of the whole Edge thing. I wouldn't be mad at that. <coughs> I moved. This table, I'm not... It's not, it's not stable. Not yeah, I think I'm going Finn on this one. You think? I, I, you have to. Yeah. Finn so. Balor. Ooh, you it's know what? Little, little, little prediction here. Oh, okay. What if Edge quits because uh, Rhea's got Beth? Ooh. Like she's got her on the back on camera and stuff like that. Her neck's in a chair. She's going to stomp on it unless Edge says I quit. I like that. That way Finn gets the win and <clears throat> Edge comes out looking good. And then you can... No, because I'm right back to... I want this to end. I want right. this to be the end. I think Edge I think Edge loses. I think Finn Balor wins. Yes, this. Finn wins. Yeah. I think, and I think it goes over just fine. I can't say clean because, yet again, mm -hmm. it's not quit match. There's no disqualifications here. I do believe this is going to be the longest match of the night. Uh, it, it has the potential to be. I, yeah, I think, that I, I'm, I think the fight pit might be the longest match of the night. I don't know. I think that we'll, we'll get to that one in a minute because we have one more match before we get into the, the triple main event they have listed. Right. Uh, we have Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross in a strap match. I'm going to go forklift certified pick of the night and I'm going to go Karrion Cross. Uh, I'm not following you on that. Uh, however, I am going to have to say that I think Karrion Cross wins this. I think this is the match where we find out the White Rabbit. Yes. That, that I will throw the prediction out. I think this is where the White Rabbit appears. Samantha, who do you believe? I, I gotta go with Drew. Drew? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's, it's good. And uh, who's that? Um, Russ, Russ said Sasha Banks. I'm not really sure what that <laughs> answer was about. I do think this is probably going to be the weakest match of the night. Just because, unless your name are... Uh, Brody Lee and Cody Rhodes strap matches are notoriously awful. That's that is a possibility. I think there's another match on this card that I think has a possibility to be the weakest match of the night. However, it's also got the the possibility to be one of the strongest matches of the night. Mm -hmm. It um, is the uh, it's it's the Liv Morgan Ronda Rousey match. I, I yeah. I think th this match is either going to be glorious or awful, and I don't know how it's. Anything in between that. I uh, I like the way they've been building Liv over the I past mean, few weeks. They've actually given her, uh, you know, some character outside of I'm happy to be here and be your champion. Because I love Liv Morgan. Mm -hmm. I love her. She's one of my favorites. Uh, not just because she's smoking hot. But because she's actually legitimately getting better in the ring. And I thought it was a good idea to put the Women's Championship on her. However, I knew when they put the championship on her, it was just a placeholder until Ronda Rousey was ready to come back. Which Ronda Rousey really hasn't left. She nope. had like 30 days off or whatever. She came back on whatever SmackDown it was. Uh, and I think this is where... I think this is where Ronda gets the belt back. Um, I don't think so. I don't want to <laughs> say it's going to happen. But, like, it, it can. I don't think so. There's no way for this... This, this is ending in a... Either a, a clear win or a title change. There's no... You can't have a dust, a real dusty finish or anything like that to this. Uh, somebody else could beat somebody down. Ronda doesn't have any friends. Liv really doesn't have any friends. So it's actually kind of made this pretty cut and dry. This is the reason um, I'm going with Ronda. And that's because Ronda has been teasing the past few weeks with Shayna. So I can see Shayna coming out and forming that two horsewomen because they're not getting the other two back. No. Because God forbid, you see Marina Shafir on the fucking mic. Holy Jesus. That is the worst shit I've ever heard. And I've heard Sammy Guevara talk. It's uh, it's not good. It needs improvement. That's where I'm going to end that. Because we're, we're talking the E tonight. We're not talking AEW. I'm just um, saying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Liv Morgan on this. And it's just because I have to. There's got to be some variation in our answers. That's fair. I mean, we have a lot of variation. And I think the only one we've really agreed on so far is uh, Balor. Yeah, well, yeah. Balor's pretty much like that point doesn't matter. Yeah. Samantha, who are you going with? Oh, Liv. Liv? Mm-hmm. Okay. You both still have your forklift certified. Oh, yeah. Okay. We go on to what I believe is going to be the co-main. 
Uh, Matt Riddle and Seth freaking Rollins in a fight pit match with Daniel Cormier serving as the special guest referee. Uh, this is going to be a, a hell of a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. I really like the first two fight pit matches they did in NXT. Uh, the one, I really like the Ciampa Thatcher one a lot oh, more yeah. than the Riddle Thatcher. Yeah. Um, Daniel Cormier just brings an, uh, an added level of, uh, pomp to this match, mm-hmm. an added level of validity, um, just, you know, he makes it feel like it's going to be a real fight. And that's a nice thing. Now, we know Seth Rollins is CrossFit Jesus, the drip god, Seth freaking Rollins, all of that things. But what we don't know is, uh, we don't know him as a fighter. We do know Matt Riddle as a fighter. Um, or he was on Ultimate Fighter. Did he win that season or did he get kicked off? What was Can't remember. I was on drugs a lot of that time, Ethan. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, we'll go to, we'll, we'll check our sources and get back with you on that. Um, I remember getting drunk at B-dubs and Applebee's and Bailey's with Kevin on many of nights watching UFC fights. Yeah. I remember I remember his little brother having the, the breakdown of a lifetime when Chael Sonnen got tapped out by Anderson Silva. Because I said, watch Anderson Silva win it in the fifth round. And Colin just went, don't you fucking say that. He's whooping his ass right now. So, uh... But yeah, Daniel Cormier being added as the special guest referee is a big, big boost to this match, which already had a lot of heat going for it. Especially when Matt Riddle's going in the ring going, I'm going to kill you. You're going to die. I think that in order for the fight pit to continue, um, and Timothy Thatcher no longer being with the company, that Matt Riddle has to win this match. Matt Riddle um, has to, to carry win. to carry this on because there's certain people that you think of when you think of matches. Helena Cell, you think of mankind, even though he really wasn't successful in him. I think Triple H. Triple, Triple H, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think pretty soon here we might actually start thinking Seth Rollins because other than the Bray Wyatt fiasco, he's been pretty good in Helena Cell. Yeah, matches. but that takes you down a whole bunch of points. Uh, yeah, it. I see. My problem with that is it wasn't. That's for another day. It wasn't Seth Rollins' fault. It wasn't Bray Wyatt's fault. It was from higher up. Shitty booking. Yep, shitty booking on that. I'm going to go with Matt Riddle, though. I think Matt Riddle has to win this. Okay, I got Matt Riddle as well. I think it's going to be Seth Rollins. That's okay. Yeah. Here's my reasoning. Seth Rollins has a U.S. title shot on Monday. He's going to lose on Sunday, and he's going to beat Bobby on Monday. Saturday. Fuck, these are on Saturday now. Good for WWE. I got tired of staying up till midnight to watch a WWE pay-per-view on a Sunday. Same. Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially with them being six fucking matches now. This feels like a takeover. Oh, yeah. Every match feels like it has some fucking validity to it. Sunday night pay-per-views made me want to quit my job. Mm -hmm. That's not the only thing, but, you know, Sunday night pay-per-views didn't help. I remember looking at your wife going like, it is, we are too old to be staying up until midnight to watch a wrestling pay-per-view on a fucking Sunday. It's true. It's true. And that brings uh, us into, uh, oh, well, Sam, you, uh, you, what's your point on uh, why you think Seth Rollins? I don't need this? a reason. She's just a camera woman. She's here to get predictions, too. You know what it is. Mm. Yeah. Not as good as Randy Orton. If it was Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, I think she'd go Orton. Oh, thousand percent. So that rolls us into the main event. Yeah, what a main event it's going to be. It is. If it's not the main event, it's a shame. It is. It truly is. Because uh, we have one person on here who has proven time and time again that they can main event a pay-per-view. Yes. Premium live event. Um, And we have another person who has shown that she has all of the capabilities in the world to be the biggest women's wrestling star. Both women deserve this match. I agree. This was the match they were supposed to have... Well over a year ago in the pandemic era before Bailey got injured. Right. And it's good to see that right when Bailey came back, she's right back in the title picture. And you know what's great about it? Bianca Belair, even though she was stellar then, has improved tenfold since then. Yes. So I think this is going to be better than the match we were going to get at that time. Yes. And for me, uh, Bailey's winning. I don't know if anybody's seen this, but I kind of called my shot. I'm sorry, your beard butt is just... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hug champ. Hug champ. I'm going to have to hug like a champ. Because Bailey's going to be the champ. This is my forklift certified pick. Samantha. Yeah, I got to go Bailey. Okay. It just makes sense. Okay, you didn't give us a forklift certified I, pick. I'm going to use that for the Seth Rollins match. Okay. So she's using her forklift certified on Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to do this thing where we just run down our picks at the end of the video. Because I don't remember any of my picks. 
fuck? Do we even have like a punishment or anything set up for whoever finishes last? Yeah, well, you get to drive over to Joey's house and pie him in the face. <laughs> really? That's what the loser gets? Let me change my prediction. <laughs> nah, the loser's got to spend 24 hours in Joey's house. No. Um, <clears throat> that's a hazard scene. <laughs> So I'm going to call Joey and ask him what his picks are so he can lose and stay in his own house. <laughs> I'm going to have a little graphic uh, that's going to show right now, hey, Clinton, can you put that graphic up for me? Thanks, bud. So these are going to be all of our picks for the paper. I hated game. all of that. I know, I hated it too. Oh, God. Don't, don't <laughs> stop fucking doing that. Thank God the graphic's going to be over that. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, fuck. I'm, I'm making it the whole screen. So yeah, that's gonna be our picks. Uh, we don't know what the punishment. The fuck are you doing? Oh, I was looking to see where he put his water bottle. Oh, it's <laughs> right fucking there. <laughs> oh my god, did you break a tooth? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, good. I just happened to have my tooth on the beer when you hit me. <laughs> I don't know why you've got to be such a fuck Owen. Every you guys video. are a hazard. <laughs> it was National Boyfriend Day yesterday. Up. Oh, yeah, I'm beating the shit. You gotta sit, stop saying stupid stuff. Yeah. That's impressive. I think it shifted my tooth. I'm not upset about it. <laughs> shifted your tooth? <laughs> Who would imagine me doing <clears throat> dental work from a fucking YouTube? If you don't video. have insurance, come see Clinton. He can shift your teeth. <laughs> Yeah, didn't shift it the right way. I didn't know there was that much water. Results not honest, guaranteed. Yeah, that's a lot of water. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Don't honey. feel I'm bad. Sorry. He's got a big I'm enough sorry. head. It's half water. Uh, so yeah, there's those are all of our picks. I'm going to flash them up again because I probably haven't put them up because of all the fuckery that has happened. Uh, and then... We have to figure out a punishment. We can figure... Who, loser gets pied. That's not fun. That's not fun? Samantha then. We got some drywall out there. Ooh. We do have a little bit of drywall. <laughs> Did I really fuck up your teeth that bad? No. Okay. We can, yeah, we can put each other through drywall. Well, I don't know. I can pie you. I'm not going to put you through if drywall. If you say cream pie, I'm going to punch you right in the dick. This is why I have to click that not suitable for children button every time I upload a YouTube video. Here it is. And all I said was I could pie you. And she took it dirty. You went to Have you met your wife? Yeah, I've met her. She's perpetually in the gutter. I, I know. Lives We're there. really going off track here. We are. Anyway, I actually have a great idea. Anybody that watches this video, drop a comment. Let us know what you think the punishment should be for the All 29 time. of them? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's 29 people to leave a punishment. That's a lot of base to work with. That's and if we get it to 39, <laughs> we'd have 10 more people. Thank you comments. for doing math. Yeah. You're welcome. so proud of them. It was a long road to get remedial, there. Remedial math. You know who taught me? Kevin. I thought you were going to say Helen Keller. No, nope, his accounting <laughs> class. I learned it at Specs Hour. You broke yourself. <laughs> oh my God, why can't... We got to film the camera woman just because the fucking shit she says and does. Couldn't be. That wasn't Helen Keller. It was Ian Frank. You're a fucking idiot.